Welcome to Lifetime Assembly Channel. My name is John, and today I'm going to show you how to resolve any issues you may have with the Action Grip handle. If you notice your handle isn't working properly, you'll need to remove this hardware here. If you can, lower the system to its lowest height setting, and before you take out the bolt, make sure you're holding on to the inner channel so it doesn't fall out, causing serious injury or property damage. If your inner channel is still locked into place inside your outer tube, you will need to pull the trigger to release the inner channel. Lift the outer tube up and remove the hardware from these two holes. Once you remove the handle from the outer tube, you can inspect the trigger, so start by pulling the trigger out. Once the trigger's out, you can inspect the trigger, handle, and spring for any damages. If you notice they are damaged, go ahead and call customer service and they'll send you a replacement. If nothing's damaged or you've received your replacement parts, confirm that you're putting the spring on the trigger in the correct spot over this nub. Once your spring's in the correct spot on your trigger, slide your trigger into the bottom channel on the handle. At this point, make sure to keep pressure on the trigger so that the spring doesn't fall out of place and reattach to the outer tube. Before you move on, make sure the trigger is functioning properly. Now that we know the trigger is working properly, squeeze the trigger and slide the inner channel into the bottom of the outer tube, making sure that the notch end goes in first and that the notches are facing you. Release the trigger to lock it into place, but don't let go of the inner channel until you know it's locked into place. Lower the channel to its lowest setting and remember, don't let go until you know it's locked into place. Reattach the inner channel to the pull bracket by pulling down on the outer tube so that the holes line up and reinsert the hardware. Double check that your handle is working properly and that it locks into different heights. If you're still having issues, go ahead and call customer service.